Hi guys and welcome to Drumdog and in this week's video we are checking out one very rare snare. So recently we took a trip to Rubik's Drums which is a really nice drum shop in London to do some filming to bring you some nice new product videos in the future but while we were there this snare drum caught my eye and it's a, it's a snare drum I've heard of but never actually heard one before. I thought it'd be a great idea to take it off the shelf put it in Rubix's own recording studio and see what this sounds like. Now, while this particular drum is a reissue that was released in 2003, this original collaboration was in the late 80s, early 90s, where they got together and decided to make a snare drum out of the Zildjian bronze alloy. Now, the casting methods they were using back then with this alloy, with the sand casting, they were having some real issues. And a lot of these drums, which were already made in very limited numbers, did actually end up developing cracks. So, when this reissue came out in 2003, and these numbers were still limited, they only made 500 of these reissue drums, but with this reissue, this means that people can have this drum without the risk of cracking, which I think you'd be very grateful for because this thing does not command a small price tag. <laughs> now, I have seen a couple of these drums in the flesh before, and they are incredibly heavy drums. Yeah. I think that's the most memorable thing about this. The first time someone passed me one, I was like, wow! Like, they're seriously yeah, yeah, yeah. heavy. We've had heavy drums on on here before but this is next level this is like a two-man lift <laughs> um, but this is the first time I've actually had the chance to play one which I was kind of a little bit anxious to hear you know does it live up to the expectation of this you know it, it's a bit of a legend in the snare collector community does it sound as good as the legend well let's find out
All right, there's not a lot of debate about it. It sounds good. <laughs> it sounds very good. Is it one of the... Is that, is that the best snare you've played? Um, I, honestly, it could well be. Uh, there are there are very few drums in the world that you play and get this feeling of almost awe. Mm. Of just like, how can one drum sound this good? But honestly, the thing, it, it's really, truly special. It's super responsive, but it's responsive in a way that it's not intrusive at low volume, but it almost sounds pre-compressed. Mm. The the ghost notes cut through really loud, and while it feels like it really opens up when you dig in harder, it the, the dynamic range just has this pre-compressed feeling. It, honestly, a, a exceptionally good drum. It's really hard to justify a price tag that high when it is just a snare drum. That's so but rare. I, I think it, it sounds yeah. that good. It does honestly sound that good. It what? A drum. Yeah. I'm going to sell all of my drum kits and just buy <laughs> one drum. So when I hire me for my next gig, I'll just turn up with a snare drum. <laughs> What's going on, Nick? I said, like, I've made a decision, guys. I'm sorry. <laughs> so you've fallen in love with the snare drum. Yeah. Cool. Yeah, well, I'm going to go and get myself a money pot and put a quid in a day. And that's... wait, so how many years? <laughs> so he's sold on it. What do you think about this drum? Let us know in the comments. And if you want to see more videos like this, like and subscribe to the channel, and we will see you soon.